Split it out. <laughs> Now there's a ton of different reasons why you might need to split out a big long stick. Maybe it's for a rotisserie cook system so you can screw your hunk of meat on here and it doesn't rotate. Or maybe it's for something like a promontory pig trap. You need to figure out how to split this thing down. Well, here's the thing. There's a very easy trick. Like it's so simple, it's so easy and I'm gonna share it with all of you today. You make your life that much easier in the woods. Okay, so here is how it typically plays out. You get your stick. Now I'm gonna use something a little bit smaller for demo, but uh, you'll get my point here in one second. You take your stick and you start your batoning action. Okay, so you put your knife on here and you start to baton. The thing is, as this stick gets longer, it gets harder and harder to baton all the way down through this entire thing. And we are at the mercy at the grain of the wood. So if the grain of the wood starts to run out to one side and we're batoning, typically that's what happens. So here's my recommendation. You start your baton just enough that you know that you can take your knife out and get your fingers into that crack. Okay, so depending on the piece of wood you pick, then of course it's gonna run with the grain. Now if you just pull this thing here, what you can see right away is that we are running out to one side. So I want this to stay centered. The grain is twisted. Not much we're gonna be able to do with that, but we're still running out to one side. Meaning, if I would keep pulling this, this side is gonna pull off and we're not gonna get split all the way down to the bottom. But there's a really, really easy fix for that and this is the tip. So what you're going to do is you're going to continue to pull this apart but in a very specific fashion. What you want to do is pull the thicker, heavier side, the side opposite of the runout. So I just twisted it on everybody. I'll twist it back. My runout is going in this direction. So I'm going to pull more strength on this side and pull that runout back, okay? So I'm gonna keep support everywhere and I'm gonna start to pull the larger side back, okay? And what that's gonna hopefully do is allow that run out, now you can see it better on this side, to start to come back to center, okay? So now I can continue that process. Again, I'm trying to keep only the large side moving. And now, we split that out without run out. Otherwise, we would have lost it further up into here. So again, just to recap that, once you start your split, it's nice and even here at the top. But as we were going down, the grain of the wood had different plans for us, and it started to push the split off to one side. So if I would have just kept pulling both evenly apart, we would have ran out here and not had what we needed. But in our case, taking the heavier side or the side opposite where it's running out to and pulling that is going to pull that back hopefully and split this out. Now I have my two pieces, I can work from here. All right, so while we're rocking and rolling here, we'll just go one longer. Okay, so I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna start to split this thing out, okay? Once I'm far enough into my split, again, what I'm gonna do is I am going to pull whatever side opposite it's running out. So in this case, the split's starting to go out this way, so I'm gonna pull with more strength this way and pull that back to center. And I'm gonna just keep working down. Now knots are always tricky when you get to a section with a knot or a branch area. Um, you really, you have to really focus. Try to keep support on both sides and um, you can definitely make it work. If you just take your time and really embrace this technique. So at this point, I'm gonna pull just this side. There we go. Got past, getting some good grain going on now. And voila, big long stick, perfect for a skewer, okay? And um, we're good to go. 
Okay, so here's the thing with this, another tool for the toolbox. It is something that you can utilize to try to help you along. At the end of the day though, we are battling mother nature. So in my case, this twisted piece of wood, the grain ran twisted, and although I split it out properly, this still might not be the perfect thing that I need for the project I'm working on, so I might need to scrap this, or maybe it is. If it's something like a rotisserie skewer, it has some twist to it, who cares? It's gonna work just fine, but that tip is gonna keep it from keep splitting out on one side. So definitely add that to the toolbox. I learned this tip from an old timer I saw making a wooden hay rake. Um, they had to split out the tines, and he said, hey, you just always go opposite the way it's running out, and it's gonna work perfect. So another one of those little bushcrafty things, so when all your friends at camp are messing around and you're trying to make cook systems and they can't get it, go over like, like a superhero and say, look it. Split it out and a big guy, that guy, girl, whoever knows what they're doing. So this was Dan Wolak with Coal Cracker Bushcraft. As always, check us out at coalcrackerbushcraft.com. And until the next video, stay in the woods and split the wood nice and even. And if it's not split and even, now you know how.